How about grandmas and grandpas and people from every... Hi everybody, it's December 11th and it's time for our mystery British snack. What is it today? Is there anything even in there? There's nothing oh, in geez, there. Oh, here it is. Okay. So this is a Cadbury Puds, like chocolate ball. I don't even know. Mm -hmm. not, I don't know. It's just this little ball. I think it's, I'm assuming it's chocolate, but I guess we're going to find out in a minute. Why is this, why is this called Cadbury Puds and not something else? Cad it's kind of. Do I live in Cadbury Puds? It's kind of a little dimpled. Oh, it looks like a little ornament, or as you might say, a bauble. Okay. All right. So what, what are we going to do? Should I just take a bite out of it and then you can take a bite out of it? Yep. Mmm. What is it? Oh. Put your pudding There's like crispy bits inside. Put your pudding in there? And there's a... Maybe that's why it's called... No, pudding is just a word for dessert. Um, there's like this open slot in the middle where you could hide some quarters or a couple of pence, I guess. Take a bite. It's, I don't think it's nuts. I think it's just like Rice Krispies or something. It's not nuts. What do you think? That's pretty good. Ladies and gentlemen, another rare Amy sighting. Um, I try one more bite. Mm -hmm. That didn't last long. So I know you guys always talk about how Cadbury is just not the same since it was taken over, blah, 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 blah. And I'm sure that's true, but I found this chocolate to be really good. Um, I don't know. It tasted really rich and creamy to me. That was very tasty. And I like the little crispy bits on the inside. I'm not sure I need a secret spot inside to hide quarters or whatever that is for. Yeah, huh. I know that's just a manufacturing thing, but it looks like someplace where you would hide quarters. All right. What do you think? Ho, 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 or no, no, no. Ho, ho, ho. 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 Yes. Ho. All right. Stay tuned for tonight's Christmas adventure, and we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks. Bye. I got to go to my friend's house now. Okay. Go to your friend's house now. Okay, so our extra Christmassy thing tonight, we're going to be trying some, some Christmas and holiday related snacks from countries around the world. And we've got three today. And the first one is that Enzo has just picked up. Let us know what we've got. This is made by a company called Karen Wolf. Bite-sized like. cookies with cinnamon. Belgian style cookies with cinnamon baked for sharing since 1890. Baked for sharing. So you cannot eat these cookies alone. You must share them because that's how they were baked. Okay? Oh, Don't no. get any crazy ideas, people. Especially around the holidays. Oh my. Somebody's having microphone problems over here. So while he's messing with that, I am going to open this package. I hope. They oh. are here. Here you go. One for you. They smell really good. Yeah. Mmm, they smell like buttery and cinnamony and... Mmm, it's so weird. They're Belgian style cookies with cinnamon, but they're baked in Denmark. What's up with that? My first impression of these is they taste kind of like ginger snaps. Like, they don't taste super cinnamony to me. I think they taste cinnamony. They, they, they taste... I mean, I, I definitely taste cinnamon, but don't they taste a little bit like gingerbread cookies? Well, yeah, um, and they're very crispy and a little bit crumbly. Um, ooh, this is a tough one for me. Okay, on a on a scale of one to ten, what do you think you would give these? Seven. I think I would also give them a seven. High five. Yeah, they were good. They're not bad, but they're also not incredible. They're just. They're sure just you don't need to zoom in. Yeah, I'll zoom in a little bit in a second. Yeah, so they're they're just they're just good. Uh, so those are Karen Wolf bite-sized cookies with cinnamon, Belgian style cookie, Belgian style cookies, baked for sharing, in Denmark. Okay. All right. So what are we doing next? What do you got? Where's this from? Antica pasticceria. God, I don't. And Pando Antica pasticceria. Pandora cocoa oh, ho, ho, ho. Coco cake with okay. cappuccino cream. Do you remember Natural last year? Artificial flavored, flavored, fla fla flavored, flavored. Do you remember last year we had a Pandoro cake from Italy? This is this is an Italian uh, holiday treat. Here, open it over this because I'm afraid it might crumble all over the place. <laughs> uh, do you remember last year we had a Pandoro from this same company? It was a different flavor though, and it was really good. So hopefully this will be more of the same. I don't remember. And it looks like so it's it's kind of a it's kind of a sort of a vaguely cone-shaped thing. Let me see. What the... That's... It's like a, you know, like a cone shape. It's kind of tapered in and it's sort of fluted. 
Okay. Um, all right, so I'm just gonna break off a piece because there's some kind of, I think there's some kind of cream inside. So I wanna make sure that you get that. Okay. It's cappuccino cream, so that means it's gonna be coffee flavored, which of course, not my favorite. Um, I may be the only half Italian person in the world who doesn't like coffee. That's probably not true, but I, I don't like coffee at all. Mm. It's very pretty good. Mm -hmm. Have one more bite. Mm -hmm. You certainly may. No. No. -uh. Oh, you want that piece? Uh -uh. Well, you're not getting the whole thing. No, I know. But, but you want some of the cream? Mm -hmm. The cream inside, actually, the cappuccino cream is the best part. I mean, I will say, just like I remember from last year, the cake is very moist, wouldn't you say? Mm. It's moist and it's kind of, um, I'm trying to think of what's the right word to describe it. Not flaky, but you know how, have you, ever, have you ever messed around with fiberglass insulation and it kind of pulls apart and almost like a cotton candy kind of way? The, for something that's basically cake, this has that sort of consistency to it. It kind of pulls apart in these kind of interesting layers. Um, the cake itself is really tasty. What is this? And the cappuccino cream, that's just one other end of the cake. Cappuccino cream is really good. All right, so. Mm, that's yummy. All right, so on a scale of one to 10, what are you gonna give that? An eight. An eight. I think I'm gonna go a little bit higher. I'm gonna give this an 8.5. And again, that's a Pandoro cocoa cake with cappuccino cream. Very, very tasty. All right, that means we have only one thing left. And these are from the United Kingdom. You may have heard of it. These are Kent Crisps Roast Beef and Spitfire Ale. Traditional hand-cooked British potato chips. <gasps> it says chips. It doesn't say crisps. What's up with that? No, it's just crisps. No, I know. They're called Kent Crisps, but down here it says traditional hand-cooked British potato chips. Do you think that's unusual? Mm -hmm. These were... How does that have to do with Christmas? I don't know. Maybe is roast beef and Spitfire Ale, is that something you guys have around the holidays? I don't, I don't know what this has to do with How Christmas. How does that have to do with Christmas? Be because I think that's a traditional cookie eaten around this time of year. So, all right, let's smell these. Mmm. Oh. Not sure I know what that smells like. Here. Are you eating them slowly because of your braces? Um, I'm not really sure what I think of these. Uh-uh. I, um... Not it. What? Not it. Not it? I mean, not, they're, they're not, not good? They're not it. No, they're not, they're not good, no. Hmm. Um, they don't really have any flavor. Yeah. Do they? No. They just taste like potato chips. I'm not tasting any roast beef, and I don't, admittedly, I don't know what Spitfire Ale is. Uh, you know, I, I will say... I do taste a slight bitterness that I think might be some kind of beer-based flavoring. So if Spitfire Ale is just a, a, if that's just beer, then I definitely taste a little bit of that. But I don't taste any roast beef, which is really disappointing because that's what I was most we looking one forward more thing. to. We ended off on a bad note. All right, go look through the box. All right, wait, wait, wait. Come back here. Let's rate this first. I already did. In my head, it was it was a five out of ten because it was a potato chip, but it wasn't a good potato chip, so it's fine. Mm. I concur. Five out of ten. High five. Come on, greasy sure. fingers. Let's go. Thank you. How'd you get a TV in my room? Imagine <laughs> a TV on my bunk bed side. <laughs> That's it hilarious. So sick. That's not happening. Well, so, I pay for it. Um, no. So. <laughs> So Enzo wanted to not end on the low note of those Kent crisps. So he picked out what, something called Jabri Baklava. I have no clue. Oh, man. You don't like sticky stuff, do you? This is really sticky. Oh, oh I think we've tried the. We've tried a type of baklava I before. I All right, I'm going to take this out. Oh, it's fine. This is going to be it's so okay. sticky. Hopefully it's good. I hate sticky stuff. Oh, is there nuts? Yeah, there's nuts. You can't have oh, this. Oh, no, just get rid of them. You're just gonna eat the top part without the nuts? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
It tastes like baklava. It's exactly what you'd expect. Nothing, no surprises there. Um, you know, it's like a flaky pastry. And then between two, like, quarter to half. I have more top pieces. They're good. Yeah, if you can, if you can get all the nuts off. Because, again, I don't want another issue it's with your braces. Oh, my gosh, your fingers are going to be so sticky. It's so gross. Oh, oh. I think I'm going to only give that a six. Like, it just... I can't get that excited about baklava. I don't know why. They, they all taste exactly the same to me. Like, I don't, I have never had one that I'm like, oh, this is way better than any other baklava I've had. Although, I feel like the last time we tried baklava. I'm about to say, I think the last time was, was like better. really good. Yeah. So, I'm just going to, I'm just going to rate this a six. What are you going to give it? I know you didn't taste the a whole six. thing, but six. Okay. Well, I'm not going to give you a high five because your fingers are really sticky. All right. So, that's it for today's Christmas extra. We'll see you, uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Thanks, bye.